Just like your older cousin Tommy, this bike is not the best at anything. But also just like your cousin Tommy, it's super freaking cool. Cue the intro. Guys, this is a 2007 BMW R1200S. And this is, at the, at the time, this was, the, this was their sport bike. And um, they threw the uh, classic 1200, which is actually 1170cc um, R motor boxer engine in it. It's got that cool vibration. It's got the rear paralever suspension with the single sided swing arm. It's really cool because this piece actually moves with the bike. Steel braided brake lines, 122 horsepower and 86 foot-pounds of torque. That's very, very impressive. And the thing only weighs has a wet weight of about 480 pounds, which is pretty light for what it is. It's got these really awesome dual exhausts, six-speed transmission with an air-cooled engine, and this is just the perfect combination of just reliability and functionality and fun. Now, it's actually a pretty quick bike, but in its class, obviously, there, there's faster bikes out there. There's more nimble bikes out there. But what this, you put this thing all together, this whole package, and it's just a blast to drive. And with, you know, the, the quirkiness and how you fire it up and you get that little shake that goes sideways and stuff, it's just a really, really, really cool bike. So with nothing more to say, let's take it for a spin. All right, guys, before we do the test drive, let's do the words of wisdom. Proverbs 22, 9, he who is generous will be blessed for he gives some of his food to the poor. Awesome. All right, let's just throw on the uh, M1 Moto 507 gloves. The only gloves I wear when I'm riding sport bikes. I can't wait to ride this bike. So the boxer engine, while one's moving, the other one's in. So it's like, they say it looks like, you know, like little boxers. I love them. I know a lot of, okay. Notice it'll say brake failure until I start moving like past five miles an hour, then it'll turn off. Motorcycles with ABS just do that. I don't know why they do it, but they do. It's kind of like so that you know, it's like a check engine light, but so that you know that the brakes are working. Because if they're not working, they're going to be flashing, it's going to be in your face, it's going to be real obnoxious. That's a big, large seat. First thing I noticed. All right, I like to like choke up. I've got like, I could fit like a, I could fit a whole other person in just my seat behind me. There is something just incredibly unique about these boxer engines and the way they feel and the way they handle. Now, no one's gonna claim that this is like the best handling sport bike. And it's a very weird and quirky sport bike because it's got a, you know, 1200 boxer engine in it. It's not the best. And if you get low enough, you're gonna be dragged, you're gonna dragging head. You'll be dragging valve cover, um, but when the time at the time this thing was made, this was this was BMW's sport bike, and then it wasn't until I think 2010 when they came out with an actual true sport bike of the S1000 Double R, and this is more of just kind of a concoction of, hey, we got an engine, it's a great engine, people love it, it makes good power, it's fun, let's throw it in a sportier frame with different handlebars, and I think it's. I think these things are great. Uh, very, very unique. These engines will last forever. I'm talking like Sandlot forever. Um, and like I said in the intro, it doesn't do everything. It does not do everything or anything exceptionally well, right? I mean, it is reliable, longevity and stuff like that. It's, it's awesome. But like when it comes to sport and handling, just everything about it, it, it doesn't it, it doesn't do anything the best but it's still an awesome riding unique machine you know what i mean not everything is like oh it's got to be the bugatti or or the the f40 or the or the mclaren 720 or this mclaren you know or whatever it doesn't have to be the porsche 918 of everything but it's like is it is it cool is it fun to ride and ultimately that's what it comes back to it's a fun bike it's a fun bike, and, and if you like riding bikes like this, and, and you want to be that guy that rolls up on a bike that everyone's like, what is that? And then you hop, and it's just, while you're riding, you're just smiles the whole way home and the whole way to where you're going. You know what I mean? I got a smile every time I turn one of these things on. 
and you feel that side to side vibration you know it's such a it's such a cool feel it's such a cool rumble now because it's such a big seat I kind of don't know where to sit on it and I do just slide it's real real slidey I just slide off like about four feet but there's a nice little backstop from on the passenger seat it does have a nice uh, it's got great power band great torque but also likes to rev you know red lines at 8500 rpms it's got a gear indicator down there and a bike like this is going to be a blast just carving this thing through the corners it's not the best it will not be the fastest equal riders someone there's other bikes that'll be faster than this bike on the corners but just having the most who's gonna have the most fun you know what I mean this all enjoyable trip this is it's, it's extremely comfortable if when the, if I had to like you know say what the ergonomics were I'd say it's between like Street Fighter and straight up sport touring I mean it really is comfortable oh, I can turn the ABS off that's cool Maybe I can't, I don't know. So then it's extremely comfortable bike. This piece looks like this is a, uh, it's kind of looks like an aftermarket piece, but it's got the BMW symbol on it, so maybe not. Rizmoto, Rizzo, Rizoma, Rizoma handlebars, heated grips, of course. And these earlier BMWs, a lot of them did not come with the option for cruise control. Not sure why they didn't, they had it, but they didn't. So what a lot of people do is, I'm not sure what brand this is, but a companies like Throttlemeister made their own little cruise control that you can use and that you can use and you can lock the, uh, you can lock the throttle and give your right hand a break. Um, they're pretty awesome. A little getting used to though. They're not as, you know, turnkey or as simple as a factory unit. Because a factory unit, you just do anything. Touch any brake, touch any throttle, whatever, and it turns it off. This, you have to reach over and turn it off. So if you do get in a hairy situation, you just got to roll off of it. Let's see what I can do in these 0 to 60. I'm going to guess 4.5. I'm also gonna guess this might be a little bit of a struggle keeping this thing, either it's tire spinning or the front end down. Yep. Nope, that was no struggle. That thing got there pretty quick. Pretty quick, and I could have done, I could have done a better job. I left a little bit on the table back there. Man, that got there fast. That was cool. All right, so back on the highway, it's tame, six gear. And if you wanted to, throw your legs up on these jugs and just kick back like you're cruising on a lazy boy. And then burn your legs, burn your legs. Uh, they actually have, you can get actual gu engine guards that go around there that have like, it's made for you to rest your legs on top of those things. Um, our, uh, our 1200C had one. Awesome, I loved it, it was like a lazy boy. Check that video if you've never seen the R1200C. Very, very unique bike, very unusual. So this thing is effortlessly cruising at like just, just under 4,000 RPMs at the speed limit to 70, I think, or 65, and no no engine noise all i'm hearing is wind almost no vibration nothing no vibration coming to the handlebars it is a very it's it's relaxing honestly it's it's relaxing no stress but if you want to pass someone it's got it man it's got it. it's right there it's, it's a good spot in the power band um it's got good torque right there at that uh at that zone 35,000 miles guys if you've seen these these R motors you know they run forever uh, I've had multiple multiple 
um, GS bikes, which is like the R1200 GS with over 100,000 miles. And then one they sold fast. They sold so fast, but they ran so good. Um, maintain these bikes. These things are cheaper to maintain than Ducatis. They are cheaper than Ducatis. And I would actually say that it's probably, it might even be a little cheaper than, uh, than Harley Davidson to maintain. All right guys, that wraps it up. Awesome test drive, I'm pumped. I'm pumped about this bike. This bike is a blast. I'm gonna put some, I might put a little more, a couple more miles on this bike. Not this week, unless someone buys it real quick. All right guys, remember, it is not what you're riding, but where are you going? If you guys are looking for SR or Bikes and Beards or SRK Cycles merch, check out our bikesandbeardsgear.com. We also sell our tank straps there. You can also buy tank straps at thetankstrap.com. The and we also sell our gloves on uh, the bikesandbeardsgear.com website. And I also just yanked, I smashed my shin on these jugs. And my foot is kind of feeling numb. So, remember, it is not what you're riding, but where are you going? We'll see you guys later. Man, that hurt. Ah.